Brothers and sisters, happy feast of St. Andrew. I'm Brother Sam Dutras, and let me tell you, memory matters. When I was growing up, every year when my, wedding, my parents' wedding anniversary would come around, my sister and I would hear them retell the story about how they met. And in a special way, remembering that first time they met rekindled their initial fervor and their love and their gratefulness. You see, there's a certain power in remembering. We are summoned on the Feast of St. Andrew to recall the beginnings of our own relationship with Jesus Christ. How has he worked in our lives? How have we been strengthened or inspired by God's presence? And how have we struggled with our relationship with Jesus Christ in our lives. Remembering how God has called us to be his disciples is at the very heart of Christian life. Throughout the Bible, the people of God are told to remember what God has done for them. And in their sin, they are often told that they failed to remember what God had done for them, such as, how he freed them from slavery in Egypt. You see, remembering is key, because if we do not remember, we cannot follow. And if we don't remember, we don't know what to live for. But by remembering, we gain a sense of direction. Jesus, in the Gospel, gave a sense of direction to Simon Peter and Andrew as they were engaged in their daily work at the Sea of Galilee, when Jesus called out to them, come after me. We hear those same words of direction today, brothers and sisters. And so let us search through our memories with the light of the, with the, light of the Holy Spirit and remember how God has called us. This is not merely a one-time event that belongs far to the past, but rather it's the first installment in a story of God's constant graciousness in our lives. By remembering God's presence, we walk in the path of Advent, following Jesus with St. Andrew. So remember, memory matters.